guys and welcome to another episode of Sorority Stories. Today I'm going to be talking about dealing with stereotypes. If you're Greek or if you're deciding to go Greek, you've probably already dealt with people stereotyping you and your decisions to be Greek. We all know that television and the media doesn't really do a good job helping Greeks image, but I thought of a few ways to sort of combat the negative stereotypes and to show a positive image about Greek life. The biggest thing you can do to combat these negative stereotypes is to maintain the ideals of your organization. I know that my sorority and all the other organizations on campus have very clear guidelines and rules that we are all the more than willing to follow. For example, we have to maintain a 2.5 GPA, but I know that my organization has over a 3.0 cumulative GPA as, as a sorority. We are incredibly involved on campus. We hold tons of different leadership roles in other organizations. We help out in the community. So by doing all this and living our creeds and our rituals, we're not only maintaining what our sororities are about, but also showing the community and the world, more or less, that we are not what the television portrays us and we are bettering society and the communities around us. And with that, another thing to combat the negative stereotypes is just to promote positive things around campus. In a way, you sort of have to advertise your sorority to show everyone that, yes, we have a high GPA, yes, we're involved on campus, and we participate in tons of other organizations. But they don't always know that, so you have to promote yourself more or less advertise yourself to show them that you do all these things. And another really important aspect to stopping the negative stereotypes on my campus is that our organizations are making it really, really clear that no hazing whatsoever is allowed. Not only is it against campus rules, but it's also against national rules and our sorority's own rules. So making it clear to non-Greeks that hazing isn't allowed, you may think it's kind of like a no-brainer, like obviously we don't do that, but it's really important that you let non-Greeks know because they're just going to keep continuing to think that what they see on television is really true and why would they ever want to join a Greek organization if that's going to happen to them. And the last way to combat negative stereotypes is to hold mixers with other organizations. My sorority once a semester holds a mixer with a non-Greek organization. Last semester we held a mixer at the Eastern Michigan Food Bank with the Chemistry Club and holding mixers with organizations that aren't Greek is a really good way to show them that you're just normal people. You aren't these crazy party animals like the television likes to portray us as. And so having mixers with them is just a really great way to have a lot of fun, help the community, and to get to know people you may not know. The sad truth is that I don't think the negative stereotypes are going to go away anytime soon because there probably are organizations out there that still allow hazing or still do it even though they're not allowed to. So the only way you can really combat it and to fight against it is just to remain true to your organization, remain true to yourself and what you were founded on, and never give up or never fall victim to people's negativity towards you. Also keep in mind that you have brothers and sisters that are going through the same thing and so you can rely on them and talk to them and figure out what you need to do on your campus to make it known that you are not the stereotype and that you are doing so much good. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below as well as any ideas for sorority stories you'd like to see. And I hope you guys liked this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!